Is aiming my fairway wood and my hybrid more difficult than other clubs? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna answer that and more importantly, I'm gonna show you how you can properly aim your fairway woods and your hybrids. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And these clubs right here, they're the longer clubs in the bag. They're the longest clubs, I should say, other than, of course, your driver. And so aiming them can be a little bit more challenging. Now, why is that? Well, let me let me show you for just, let me show you an example here. So let's say I had two clubs. Let's say I had my putter, all right, which I got right here, and I've got my fairway wood. Now, when I aim my putter, okay, I, can st I stand very close to the ball, right? And if I wanna just roll this ball on a straight line, I get set up and I'm just a little bit away, away from the ball. We've got some actually some specific videos here at US Golf TV on how far away from the ball you should be. You should check those out if you're wondering how to improve your putting. But you're definitely, of course, closer. So when you're closer to the ball, your eyes are more directly over the ball, which means they're more in line with the target line or where you want the ball to roll. But this club is drastically different, right? It's longer. So the further away you get from the golf ball, the further away your eye line gets away from the target line. So that can be more challenging. So that's why a longer club is more difficult to aim than a shorter club. So how do we fix that? Well, let's talk about it here. So one of the things that you can do is first of all, most clubs like mine right here, I've got the Titleist Club, that's the clubs that I like to play, is it's got a, like the logo or the name of the, the br uh, not the brand, but kind of the model on top, okay? Most clubs have something like that. So that's the first tip I can give you, is make sure you're lining that spot right there. It's a straight line, it says TSI on it right there, okay? That that right there creates a straight line with the ball and is looking right down the target line. So the most easy way and the most obvious way to help you aim the club face is to use some of the design features that are built into it. Okay, that's why they put those things on there. Sometimes there might be an arrow or there might be a little line. Different manufacturers do different things because the most common mistake that most of you make when you line up your longer clubs is you set them down and you rotate them open. And that's why you're hitting the ball weak and to the right if you're a right-handed golfer. So that's tip number one. Now, tip number two, and I gotta tell you this, if you haven't already, hey, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, do that for me, ring that bell, and tell a friend about US Golf TV, and leave a comment, whether you agree or disagree, or what are some other things that you'd like to see us talk about? Put those in the comments, because I love hearing from you, and I do my best to answer all of those. So, what about in a routine? What are some things that I could do? Well, one of the things that you can do, this is very common, is to find something out in front of the golf ball to kind of aim. So I'm just gonna use a tee as an example to make the point. Now, you can't do this in a tournament, all right, but there are things on the golf course that could be an old divot or a leaf or something like that that you can use. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tee and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try to, there's a, there's a, a palm tree straight down here, a skinny palm tree in the distance, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put that T, okay, in a straight line from the ball. All right, so that T right there, we can see it on the camera, but that T is in right in between the ball, there's the ball, the T, and then my target. So I've created an extended target line. Now, like I said, I got a T down there just for the visual. You might have to use a leaf or a, an old divot, doesn't matter what it is, but something like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stand behind it here, and I'm gonna got that spot, I'm gonna walk into it, keeping that spot in my focus, and now I'm gonna aim, all right, I've got the words here on the top of the club, but I'm gonna aim that at the T. That's helping me get my club face square, and then I'm gonna go ahead and separate my feet. Okay, let me go through that one more time. So I've created something in front, Got the T for the visual. It's on my target line, but it's probably, I don't know what this is, maybe three or four feet in front of the golf ball here, right? Okay. Stand behind it, visualize that, come into it. I like to put my feet together if you've watched any of my other videos. Now I'm gonna aim the words on the top of the club right there, right at that T. Separate my feet. Now I've got a good visual there. All right, definitely started out right on my target line. So the reason longer clubs are more difficult to aim is because you're standing further away from the target line. The best way to help you still aim the club correctly is to find something in front of the ball, aim the club face, 
all right, towards that. And when you do that right there, you'll definitely improve the aim with your longer clubs.